feeling drained by negative people around you, caught up in too much drama and not sure how to keep your cool. It feels like every time you're talking with someone, all hell is going to break loose, doesn't it? Well, it's key to learn how to handle these tough situations smartly and keep standing strong. I'm going to show you seven ways, inspired by ancient Stoic wisdom, to deal with difficult people without losing your peace. Choose your battles wisely is advice as old as time, but it's especially true today where every conversation can feel like walking through a minefield. Dealing with difficult people is like trying to find your way through a maze blindfolded. You never know when you'll run into a wall. The key isn't to fight against every obstacle, but to move carefully and decide which challenges are worth your time. Many conflicts lead nowhere, just wasting your energy. Sometimes, the best thing you can do is nothing at all. Silence can be more powerful than the most eloquent words thrown into an argument. When someone is negative towards you, they're often just looking for a reaction to see if they've gotten under your skin. By choosing not to engage, you take away their power. It's not about ignoring the problem, but about not letting it control you. Your energy is precious. Spend it on things that really matter. Arguing with someone who's just being toxic is pointless, like trying to put out a fire with more fire. Instead, try asking questions that make them think, possibly guiding them to see things differently. Changing the conversation from a fight to a dialogue might not always work, but the real victory is keeping your peace and self-respect. Empathy and patience are your best tools in these situations. Trying to understand where someone else is coming from doesn't mean you agree with them, but it shows you're strong enough to look beyond the surface. Everyone is dealing with their own struggles. Being patient means you choose to respond thoughtfully instead of just reacting, which is a sign of wisdom, not weakness. Think about your interactions with tough people. Do you see any patterns? Are there conflicts you're getting into out of habit rather than necessity? Being stoic isn't about not feeling emotions. It's about controlling your reactions, putting your energy where it counts, and knowing that not every fight is worth joining. So, the next time you're about to get into an argument, stop for a moment take a deep breath and ask yourself, is this really worth losing my peace over? Isn't it strange how a simple chat can suddenly turn into a full-blown argument? It's like a tiny spark that somehow sets the whole place on fire, burning everything in sight. But it's important to remember, not every spark has to start a big fire, especially when you're dealing with people who spread negativity like it's their job. The key is to spot fake friendliness early on. This means figuring out when someone's pretending to be on your side while actually stirring up trouble. Pay attention to the signs that someone's not being genuine, a forced smile, arms crossed like they're getting ready for a fight. These are the secret signals of someone who's faking it, not someone who's really your friend. Take a moment to listen to what's not being said. If someone's voice is too sweet but feels cold, or if their laugh breaks the flow of conversation rather than adding to it, these are clues. They might not be saying anything directly, but these little signals can tell you a lot about what's really going on. Think about how people act consistently. If someone's behavior doesn't change, it's like a steady drumbeat, reliable and predictable. But if they act one way with one person and a completely different way with someone else, it's a sign that their friendship isn't deep or genuine. Recognizing these patterns is crucial because being consistent is what really matters in relationships. Understanding when someone is just pretending to be friendly isn't just about avoiding negative people. 
It's about making room for real, meaningful connections. It means being a beacon of honesty in a world full of fake smiles, leading the way to true friendship. So, when something feels off, trust your instincts. Be on the lookout for these signs. And remember, not every hand offered in friendship is one you should take. Dealing with difficult people can feel like trying to find your way through thick fog. You can't see clearly and every step feels unsure. But imagine there's a way to clear that fog and it starts with you. It's about finding strength in staying calm and not getting rattled, no matter what comes your way. This idea comes from an old philosophy called Stoicism. Think of someone who stays calm and strong, like a mountain in a storm, even when everything around them is chaotic. This doesn't mean they don't care or feel things deeply. It means they understand that the only thing they can really control is how they react to what's happening around them. Stoicism teaches us that our true power lies in our responses, not in trying to control everything. So when we run into negativity, we tap into our inner calm. Instead of getting swept up in the drama, we take a moment to pause. Even if things are crazy on the outside, we can find a quiet spot inside ourselves. This pause helps us think clearly and act from a place of peace, not panic. It's about focusing on keeping our cool, no matter what's going on around us. And how do we do this? Through being mindful. Mindfulness might sound like a buzzword, but it really works. It helps us step back and see the chaos without getting overwhelmed by it. We don't ignore the bad stuff, but we don't let it take over our peace either. We understand that tough times are like clouds. They'll move on eventually. So, the next time you're in a tough spot surrounded by negativity, remember, you have the power to keep your peace. Build it strong and make it last. Sometimes we meet people who just seem to drag us down. Imagine them as carrying a cloud of gloom around, blurring everything around them. But what if there was a way to get past this, to walk through the gloom without letting it stick to you? The trick is to know yourself well. It's like avoiding smoke if it makes you sneeze. Knowing how you react to negative vibes helps you keep your distance. The real cleverness isn't about hitting back, but in dodging those hits. When a negative person tries to bring you down, see it as a chance to step aside. Knowing what pushes your buttons and not letting them push you to react is a quiet way of being strong. Using this idea every day is easier than you might think. It's like tying your shoes, hard at first, but soon it becomes something you do without thinking. When faced with negativity, take a moment to ask yourself why it bugs you and what you can learn from it. This isn't about making excuses for someone else's bad behavior, but about getting stronger yourself. Keeping an eye on how you react to negativity isn't always easy. There will be times when snapping back feels simpler, but reacting out of anger is a quick win that doesn't last. It feels off because it's not really you. Choosing how to respond means doing what's right for you, not just what's easiest. This whole idea is about building up your strength from a place of calm, not pride. It's not about ignoring the negativity, but recognizing it without letting it take over. Challenge yourself to do this. It'll make you sharper, tougher, and in the end, much stronger. Imagine your day as a painting, with every person you meet adding their own brushstroke to it. Some people add bright and cheerful colors, making your day better. Then there are those who add dark and messy strokes. These are the toxic people. Their influence doesn't just leave a small mark. It can change the whole vibe of your day. 
affecting how you feel and see yourself. Now, think about the ancient Stoics. They were really good at controlling their own minds. They didn't run from tough situations. Instead, they built up their inner strength. They understood that not every harsh word or negative attitude deserved their attention. What if we dealt with difficult people in the same calm, stoic way? It's not about shutting everyone out, but about choosing carefully who we let in. Being picky about who you spend your energy on doesn't make you weak. It means you're looking after your peace of mind. Picture your energy as something precious, like water in a desert. Every interaction is like sharing a drop of that water. Would you rather give it to someone who helps your desert bloom, or to someone who just lets it dry up under a hot sun? Setting boundaries is about using your energy smartly. It's not about being proud or mean, but about being wise and knowing your worth. It means being clear about what you will and won't accept, because your peace of mind is important and not something to be messed with. Let's think of each day as a chance to paint our masterpiece, focusing our energy on what really matters and makes us happy. Setting boundaries is really about respecting yourself and knowing that you're worth it. Start by defining your own space, not by pushing people away, but by showing where your limits are. See how it changes the way you live your life. Have you ever wondered how to deal with those difficult people we all inevitably meet? The trick lies in adopting a mindset that's focused on solutions, deeply rooted in Stoicism. This perspective allows us to see these challenging interactions as chances for personal growth and emotional savvy, rather than just headaches. Turning the tables on these toxic situations calls for a bit of creativity. Think of it as playing chess. You need to be several moves ahead, predicting responses without getting emotionally caught up. It's about listening more than talking and keeping your cool, a skill many admire but few truly master. This kind of strategic thinking helps you stay calm and not get dragged into the turmoil. Being adaptable is crucial here. It means staying true to your principles while handling the tricky task of dealing with difficult people. Imagine you're like a tree. Your roots are firmly planted, yet you bend in the wind. You move with the gusts of negativity, but don't break. This resilience not only strengthens your character, but also prepares you to weather any storm. Now, I want you to think, how do you react to negativity or manipulation? Remember, you might not have control over the presence of difficult people in your life, but you do control how you respond. By adopting a stoic, solution-focused mindset, you're not just sidestepping negativity, you're actively crafting a life filled with peace, resilience and dignity. Remember, in the bigger picture, it's not the hurdles we face, but how we navigate them that truly defines us. We've all felt the drag of someone else's negativity at some point. The inner dialogue we have in these moments can either be a shield protecting us or a weak spot that lets the negativity in. Imagine your mind as a garden where every thought is a seed. Planting seeds of strength and resilience keeps us standing tall, but if doubts and fears start to grow, they can quickly take over like weeds. Sometimes, walking away from negativity isn't an option. That's where the timeless wisdom of Stoicism comes into play. Stoicism teaches us that it's not what happens to us that matters, but how we respond to it. It's in our reactions where true strength lies, so when faced with someone's negative energy, pay close attention to the conversations you have with yourself. Instead of wondering, why is this happening to me, Ask yourself, how can this make me stronger? This shift can help you grow in resilience, empathy, 
and the courage to set firm boundaries. Changing how you see the situation isn't just playing with words, it's about taking back your power. Another strategy is detachment, not being cold or indifferent, but consciously choosing where to invest your energy. Picture someone's negative words as arrows. If your self-worth is a strong shield, those arrows can't hurt you. You might still feel their sting, but those arrows only cause harm if you allow them to. Take a moment to think. How often do you let outside negativity seep into your self-talk? Managing this doesn't mean you have to build walls around your heart. It's about knowing your value and realizing your reaction is where your true power lies. Sometimes it means choosing not to let your peace of mind be taken away. Stoicism isn't about living without feelings. It's about deciding which battles are worth fighting for. Remember, the only person you truly control in this life is yourself.